Hello, welcome to lesson 25. Uh, we're going to cover some basic errors that can happen when you're trying to do Boolean operations. All right. Now, with Rhino 6, it is much, much, much more forgiving than it has been in Rhino 4 or Rhino 5. But you, nonetheless, you can still get some some errors. All right. So we're going to once again go from the top view, double click on that, go over to the perspective view, and double click on that. Okay. Now, in this particular uh, set of models, you'll see that I've got some objects that are look like they're joined, but they're not quite joined. This is complete. This is not, right? This is complete. This is complete, as in when I say complete, I mean closed poly surfaces. This is a series of single surfaces, all right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a try and do a Boolean difference with this single surface and this single surface uh, with this particular poly surface. Okay, so watch what happens when I try and do a Boolean difference and I select the poly surfaces to subtract from and then I hit enter and I subtract the ones to subtract with. I'll hit enter. And you'll notice that the Boolean difference failed. Okay. Now, sometimes Rhino will not tell you why it fails, and other times uh, it will. Now, the reason that it failed is because this and this, these two objects, are exactly on the construction plane. Watch what happens if this moves down just a little bit. I'm going to look in my right view here, and I zoom on in, and I'll notice that that is just a little bit lower. Okay, now watch what happens if I do a Boolean difference, or a union for that matter, but I'll, do a, I'll stick with the Boolean difference. Boolean difference, I want to subtract from that. I hit the Enter command with this, Enter, and there you go. I've got an actual Boolean difference. Now that surface there uh, is completely irrelevant, but um, I'm going to go ahead and move this over a little bit. So you'll notice that, yep, we were able to create that. All right. Now, what we have here is um, one object and another object. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hide this. Now, notice because these are uh, both closed poly surfaces, uh, if I decide to Boolean union them and I hit enter, um, no problem. I've created a Boolean union. I'm going to hit control Z to get out of these. I'm going to now select this. Uh, tube. I'm going to go up here to the hide, which is this little light bulb. I haven't taught that to you yet, but I'm going to click on that light bulb and it's going to make that thing disappear for a second. All right. I'm now going to select my pyramid and I'm going to go over here to this explosion. Okay. Left hand side, second row over, about halfway down, little explosion. I'm going to click on that. And what that has done is it has turned this from a poly surface into a series of just surfaces. All right. I'm going to take that surface there and I'm going to go ahead and hide it. All right. I'm now going to take all of these surfaces here and I'm by selecting them. I'm going to go back to the left and I'm going to click on these little puzzle pieces to join them. Okay. Now I'm going to type in show S H O W. And what that'll do is that'll bring back all the things that I've hid. I could also bring back all the things that I've hidden by clicking on this little triangle below the light bulb and clicking on this one right here, show objects. Click. Okay, now notice what we have here. We have a poly surface that is missing a surface. You can see that one there is not selected. And we have this guy here, right? And so if I decide to take this, which is not including that one, and this one here, and do a Boolean union, uh, I'm going to get a little thing up here that says Boolean union failed. And now the great thing about Rhino 6 is I've got a little line here, right? So if I click on this little exclamation point, this text dot, I can look over here on the right-hand side, and it says intersection curves end at an, ends at a naked edge. So that is what that little um, dot is telling me. So if I take this guy and I go back and I join it, and then I try and do a Boolean difference, Boolean difference 
from that, enter with that, and hit yes. Oh, still nothing will happen. All right, let me just see what happens there. Um, I'm going to run my command, uh, one of my favorite commands, which is called what. So I'm going to type that in, W-H-A-T, right? And it's going to tell me that this is a closed poly surface with six surfaces. Okay, so that should indeed... Um, I'm going to delete that text dot, see if that makes a difference. All right, now because these are both clo po closed poly surfaces, they should work. So I'll select Boolean Union again. I'll select this and then this and I'll hit enter. And there we go. I actually have a union, right? And that's because I fixed that uh, naked edge. All right, let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of interesting surfaces. We're going to make them, uh, I'm going to bring this cube over here and I'm going to intersect it. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to do a Boolean difference here and I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna select everything here and because I've selected it all even though it's not joined Rhino 6 has kind of an interesting way of dealing with it Rhino 6 doesn't it no longer cares if everything is unjoined if it uh, intersects it will cut through things so Rhino 6 is much much better at creating booleans and boolean un unions um, does a lot of things that it didn't used to do and it also will tell you if you do get the boolean union failed you can be on the lookout for those little asterisk signs those little exclamation points and it will give you a pretty good indication of what has gone wrong okay i'm going to go ahead and stop the lesson now and i will see you in the next lesson bye-bye